Audio is life. It's everything. Whenever you are having challenges in your life, whenever something is getting you down, whenever you feel discouraged or you know, you're just not in the best mental headspace, audio can pep you out of that and get you going, give you the energy and the strength to keep going and meeting life's challenges. Audio is very important in life. I realized that later as I got older that audio really is a thing that just keeps you pushing forward. And so I, as I developed in my journey, it was important for me to have good audio. It was important for me to have very good, clear sounding audio with good bass whenever I heard a track so I can actually hear everything the artist wanted to give to me. So I needed something which was gonna be great. It had to sound amazing. Now, I've already reviewed these Beats Fits Pro, they're great for that. They are very clear sounding. They sound wonderful. I, I compared them to these WXM 1000 XM4s, the worst name in the business, but they're very good headphones. I used these on the marathon. I did not use these because the audio quality on these is a little better. So I basically had to use these in order to get through that challenge, push through those miles, and then get down that road and actually um, finish the marathon. So whenever I'm in my apartment, or in my, not my apartment, my office or in my studio, whenever I'm just you know standing right here and I'm just basically trying to get through um, the day's challenges, I need to have great audio. So today I'm gonna to review two different headphones which give amazing audio quality. The first one is Apple's AirPod Maxes. Shout out to Daryl Flournoy for giving these to me. They are wonderful and I can't wait to review them. The second pair of headphones are going to be the, WX, the WF 1000 XM4s from Sony, the headphones that they have. So we're going to basically look and see both of these and see how they stack up against each other right here on the Tech and Dad channel. Thanks. Apple's ecosystem never ceases to amaze me. These things are awesome and amazing. Thank you, Daryl, for lending these to me to let, you, um, to let me review these on the channel. So these are amazing in that Apple's ecosystem, as soon as I put them on my head, they, they pick up, they're not even my headphones. They actually say Daryl's headphones on my device. And they say he will find them on the Find My app. So he's watching where I am right now while I'm giving this video. Um, and the amazing thing about these is the sound quality in these is excellent. Like right now, my wife is having a very loud conversation upstairs and I can't hear her at all. Not an ounce. Like everything has been filtered out and it, it sounds amazing. It's nice and quiet. So I can just basically talk and not have any other things that are distracting me while it's happening. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um, the audio quality is, I would say, an A. It's an A because number one, Apple's got these automatic ways of increasing the sound response for whatever type of music you're listening to. So if I'm listening to jazz music, or if I'm listening to um, hip hop music, or rock and roll, or maybe even opera music, it has a way of adjusting the algorithms to make it sound optimal for whatever music you're listening to. So they are following you wherever you're going and listening to whatever you're listening to, adjusting what you're listening to so that it sounds optimal when it comes to you. And that to me is almost priceless, it's amazing. There is no manual way to adjust the sound other than one setting that's on in the um, settings apps in the music area, where you can basically say either extra bass or hip hop or R&B, and that's pretty much what they have. But it's not really, um, a manual way of changing, just basically changing your general genre as to whatever music you're gonna to listen to. So these are amazing. And please put into the comments how I sound with these AirPod Maxes. Do I sound clear? Do I sound like every word is coming through very clearly and accurately? And how do these look on my head? So also another thing about these is the build quality. The build quality of these headphones is amazing. You have this heavy um, aluminum type of shells, which are here. They're not really heavy, but they're durable. That's probably the best way to put it. So this entire mesh 
is distributing the weight of the headphones over my head. And I don't feel any uncomfortableness as I'm sitting here talking on this video. This sounds very nice. It feels very comfortable. I believe that these um, headphones have nine microphones in them to try to um, optimize your sound quality. Nine microphones. That to me is amazing, nine microphones. So it's checking for the outside space to hear what's out there. It is checking for whatever's coming out of my mouth and it's gonna be giving exactly whatever audio needs to, um, to come out of my mouth to get right into the camera and record that. I don't know if Apple can make a better microphone than these headphones. So if you're a person who likes to talk a lot um, at work or if you're a person who really enjoys um, I don't know, talking to other people and you want to hear uh, very clearly what it is you're trying to say to somebody else, these are amazing. These are probably the top of the line. You really can't get any better than these headphones. Let's also go towards the bass. Because you guys know from my channel that I love bass. I gotta have very strong, deep bass whenever I listen to something. I know I'm 47 years old, but I love bass. It's very important to me. So how is the bass on these? I would say the bass on these is probably an A minus. It's not an A, but it's an A minus. The reason why it's an A minus is I will use my one song, which is uh, what I use to compare things. I will use E40's My SH Star T Bang. I use that song to compare all of um, the bass in any headphones that I use. On these headphones, it's not as strong as I would like it to be. On the Sony's, which I'll get to in a little bit, it's it's very clear. It is not distorted at all. On the Beats Pro, the Beats Fits Pro, which are these here, in these Beats Fits Pros, I can't even say it right. In these Beats Fit Pros, the sound and the audio quality is distorted completely. So you hear, you know the bass is there, but it then just muffles and it breaks up and then something happens with it. So they're not the best for, for, um, for bass. When I go to the Sony WF-1000XM4s, these are excellent. There is no distortion at all with the bass in these headphones or in these earbuds. So bass is still um, not one of Apple's strong suits, even with the Beats brand, because Beats for years was always about nothing but bass. But then they kind of toned it down a bit because the general population wasn't really wanting so much bass out of their um, headwear. So the bass is not, Apple is still working on the bass. I wish that there was like one button that said extra bass, but there isn't yet. They probably will get to it later, but they haven't gone to it yet. So, as of now, these are an A- in terms of bass. In terms of audio quality and clarity, the algorithms inside of here are able to um, separate out all the different um, levels of music that you're hearing, and then it's going to put it together in a way that makes it sound very... <coughs> Excuse me, I gotta change that again. So it makes the audio quality sound great because of Apple's W1 chip, which analyzes everything that comes out of the device and it makes it very clear and it's very um, accurate. So in terms of audio quality, A+. In terms of build quality, A+. In terms of battery life, now the battery life is only about 20 hours from when you first buy it. They will degrade over time, but it's still just 20 hours. 20 hours is not a lot of time in order to keep your um, listening together. <laughs> I wish that were um, better. So they're still working on that. So the battery life's about a B to a B plus. Um, what else do we have? The audio quality on calls is an A plus. It's amazing. It's great. And you know, just the you know, you walking around in the shops and you know, you have these on your head. That's just an A plus right there because of the, the, the factor that you have these headphones which cost almost $600 on your head. 
So that itself is going to get people to look at you and say, oh, he's got those headphones. Wow, he's got these right over here. I will see people in Chipotle just sitting around eating their burritos with these headphones on their heads. So, you know, this is California, so this is what they do here. And, you know, this is what these headphones are a status symbol. They really are. They're really, they are great. The build quality is an A+, plus, no questions asked. All right, guys, so here are the Sony WH-1000XM4s. These are going to be the headphones, which are the competitor to Apple, and they sound great as well. In terms of the clarity of the audio, they're the same level as the AirPod Maxes. In terms of the bass response, the bass response is much better than what you get from the Sony AirPod, uh, sorry, the Apple AirPod Maxes. In terms of the build quality, the build quality is not as great. So the build quality is going to be like plastic materials everywhere. You've got plastic um, cushioning. You've, it's a lighter headphone, so it's not really going to be much stress on your head. These are much heavier. But the, um, the AirPod Maxes have been designed in a way that really puts all the distribution of the weight around your head so it's not going on your head. So when you're or have these on your head, you're not feeling any of that weight at all. Whereas the Sony's are just lighter, and therefore they're not really going to impinge your, um, how you feel in terms of the, um, the weight at all. Um, the sound quality is amazing, and also the Sony app allows you to customize the sound that you're hearing. So the Sony app, let me show you guys what the Sony app looks like and how it actually works. Okay, here is my iPad. We are right into the uh, the Sony app, and the Sony app has a picture of the headphones where it says AAC DSE Extreme. That's going to be the setting that, to me, has got the best um, fidelity of bass and the best fidelity of audio. It's, it makes the sound more dynamic, and so I always turn it on. The thing about these Sonys is that they can actually adjust the way that they're showing them uh, uh, displaying the music by if you're staying if you're walking if you're running so it pretty much changes the sound based off of whatever settings that you have so let's say that you were um, going from one place to the other and where you're going is very noisy it knows to turn on the noise canceling higher than if you were just stationary in one position so it does detection of actions Right now, because I'm sitting down in front of my iPad, I'm staying. Um, it can learn the locations of, that you frequent, so it actually can change your audio settings depending on where you are. So it's actually pretty nice. It's pretty cool that it can actually do that and give you the, <clears throat> give you the best sound possible. Now, here's the sound profile. I can go to ambient sound where I can adjust the noise canceling if I want to. And I can increase the noise canceling or increase the ambient sound. So I can actually hear outside a little uh, more, a little higher. I can turn it down and go right down to noise canceling where everything outside gets completely destroyed. I don't hear anything from outside at all. There's also this function called speak to chat where if I say something, it pauses the music and it opens up the microphone so I can hear everything around me. So if I want to do that, that um, can turn on very easily. I don't turn it on because... I like to hum and talk while I'm listening to music, and so it's not helpful for me to do that, so I don't do that um, much for this uh, device. Here is where the, the golden goose is, the equalizer. So what I do is I set it to manual, and I put on the equalizer onto whatever things that I want to put it on, and I have my clear bass up to a factor of 10. And if I want to make, change these settings, I put a little um, scroll button and now I can go up and down on these little um, areas here, and I can change the sound any way that I want to. So you have full customization of the sound with the Sony WH-1000XM4s. And so they are really nice, and plus the clear bass is all the way up to the right, because, you know, that's the way I like it. So that's pretty much what we got there for the Sony app. It also has this option called... 360 reality audio setup is like the Android version of what Apple does with spatial audio. And I don't use it because I don't use any of the apps that are really um, compatible with it. So I would have to use either Tonal or Tidal 
or Spotify in order to use this, but I don't have any of those. I have Apple Music, so I just don't really ever use the 360 Reality Audio setting. And that's pretty much about it. So this is a wonderful little device, and it's great because the other, the other nice thing about this is they actually can um, coordinate between two different devices. So if I have my iPad here and my iPhone, it turns them on, and I can switch between them easily with these headphones. So actually, it's actually pretty nice. So what's my verdict of all of the things that I've been doing with these two headphones? Yes, I have a different shirt on because it's a different day because this is a very long review for me. And this is my longest one I've had so far. So which one am I going to pick? I'm going to pick the Sonys. The Sonys are number one. I'm a huge Apple fan. I love Apple products. I love going into the Apple store. It's like going into Disneyland for me. But their headphones just don't have enough bass for me. And they need more bass. And they just don't have it. I wish that they did or else it'd be a complete slam dunk. I would go with Apple's products because they do everything so great. The only thing that they just don't do well is bass. And so I have to go with the Sonys. So the Sonys are going to win for me. Now, the Sonys are only about $280 versus the 590 that the um, AirPod Maxes are. And also... These, you can find these on Amazon all over the place. They're dirt cheap, and they keep going down in price every day. I think that the AirPods will be around for a while, probably at the $500 mark right now, if you want to find discounts someplace. But it is an expensive choice to make. It's more of a design choice to make, and you're not getting a lot for the exchange that's involved. The Sonys do noise canceling excellently. The AirPod Maxes do ex noise canceling expertly, but is it $300 worth uh, more better? No, it's not. It's just really more of a status symbol. And I know, I'm an Apple fan. My entire family is filled with Apple products. So I understand, I know what's going on with Apple stuff. It's just Sony is just doing a better job at reproducing sound than Apple is. And that's kind of difficult to admit the fanboy that I am for Apple products. So the Sony's for me. So let me know what you guys think about these headphones. If you guys have them, you tell me what your experiences are like with them. Put some comments down in the comments section. Um, please hit subscribe and hit the bell to hear more products later. I have a fly in my room and the world's going on. So let me know what you guys think. Hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys all soon. Thanks.